It's autumn and squash is iron season, so I'm going to show you how to make the easiest butternut squash soup in the world. Now squashes are great, I don't know anyone who doesn't like them, but the most annoying thing about them is peeling them and chopping them up. But I have got a solution to that. What you need to do, get some foil. Wrap up the squash with foil so there's no gaps at all. And this is going to go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees C. That's gas mark four for one and a half hours. Just make sure the foil's really tight, there's no gaps and no holes. And it doesn't need to go on a baking tray, you can just go straight into the oven. Okay, here's my squash, an hour and a half later. I've let it cool down a bit because it's very, very warm. And now I'm just going to unwrap it. So the squash is perfectly cooked and if you just pop your knife in, there'll be absolutely no resistance at all and that's how you'll know it's cooked. I'm just going to cut it open. I'm also going to just cut the ends off like that um, stalky bit and the other end they have a stalky bit. Now the skin you can eat so you don't need to peel it. I just need to scoop out the seeds. You can toast the seeds, keep them and toast them if you like. So once the seeds are gone, all that's left is just the lush, soft, edible squash. With the skin, which you don't need to peel, as I said. I'm just going to cut it into very rough chunks. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, this wasn't my idea. It was actually inspired by a recipe which was in the back of Jules Oliver's book that she wrote um, about when she had her kids, The Diary of an Honest Mum. So it's a great book and there's some great recipes in the back. So I've got one red onion, just dicing it up really roughly. And I'm just heating some olive oil in a saucepan behind me, nice large saucepan. Put the onion in the pan along with two cloves of garlic, crushed, Oops, and then I've got one teaspoon of dried sage. Just need to fry the onion for about three or four minutes until it's soft. Then I'm going to add my squash. Now to me, sage and squash are like best friends, but you can use whatever dried herbs you like. It smells really good. I'm now going to add 600 ml roughly of chicken stock. Now I want to bring the whole thing to the boil. Both of us can't look good at the same time, it's me or the house. Now, I'm about to do some blending, so it is either me or the house, because either one of us is going to get trashed, so I'm going to wear my lovely new apron, so at least I can remain clean. As soon as it comes to the boil, turn the heat down, and get your blender in there. Just keep blending, and blending, and blending, until it's completely smooth. blending this for about two or three minutes so it's completely smooth and I'm now just going to add two generous tablespoons of creme fraiche which is perfect for butternut squash soup because it's it just um, because squash is a little sweet the creme fraiche just kind of takes the edge off that and just kind of balances the flavors and it makes it lovely and creamy as well this is the best and easiest squash soup in the world, I think, obviously. Just going to stick some in a bowl. So here we have what I consider to be the best butternut squash soup in the whole world. If it's not the best, it's definitely the easiest to make. For only 35p and 112 calories per serving. For full recipe details of this and other easy recipes, visit gourmetmum.tv. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.